I'm really sad. Actually, yep, I am. Cause... Oh, that video was so funny! <laughs> I mean, it was really gross and disgusting, let me tell you that. <laughs> but it was like, I want to say tastefully gross somehow, like it was just funny, even though it's really gross. But honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm dying. Because uh, my like body just hurts all the time. And not even just because of like the back injury shit, I'm talking about like, like getting high or whatever, just like feels like it's melting my insides and I just like honestly I just take really bad shits <laughs> like after Kane mentioned the fact that I when I threw up and he's like that just looks like your stomach lining and I was like it hasn't stopped <sighs> I'm just killing myself <laughs> but it's all in there's always a new way, right? <laughs> and, um, I don't know. Today was really bad. I woke up and I, I don't know, I looked outside and, oh, but it's so nice out because it's rainy. And that means I have a day to just feel comfy. And I don't, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be expected to do frickin' anything today, honestly. I, I literally, okay, yesterday I got, I got in a fight with my mom because we were cleaning out the back room and then I found all the teeth and then I found where my other teeth were and I was like, oh my god. And then, so I fucking have all my family's teeth because my mom would like, okay, so you know when you have like a baby tooth? Well, my mom would collect each one and then she'd write down. Like she actually had my brothers, like both brothers and so she's got like dated and time and crap because it's like an old school dental card where it shows all the teeth and then my mom would cross them out every time like they missed one. So then now we had like, she could actually monitor her children to see like what teeth were like because honestly I remember someone like my one of my friends like way back in the day her name's like Doreen and she I'm pretty sure she was telling me one of her teeth she like knocked out and it like grew back again even though it was like an adult tooth and like I'm pretty sure like even my brother's friend had said something like that had happened to him too and I'm like thinking about it you know you're like a kid until you're like you're like kid until you're like at least 12, honestly. That's like when your brain starts like processing reality a lot better. Um, but, which is, yeah, but, so I think that like, I'm just like, I don't know if it's legit or not, or like if there's a possibility for your like adult teeth to grow back in. Um, maybe if it like gets knocked out when you're hella young, your brain just like has like a, an emergency response or some shit maybe, but I don't know. And, um, yeah, so I just remember shit like that. And I've never been lucky to just, my mouth has never been lucky, ever. And I actually shad this tooth. Uh, me and my friends were, like, having a bath together. And she hit me in the face with a plastic cup. And she just, like, just chopped off this tooth. And then, yeah, a bunch of my other teeth are, like, these teeth are built up. No, or is it, yeah, it's these ones. Because I had braces and then my teeth were stupid shaped. So they were like, let's build them. And then, uh, yeah, and then the one lady fucked up my filling in the back. Like, it's really fucked. No one will listen to me. It's really fun. And it hurts. It's really fun. And everyone just goes, it's, it's going to hurt. But I'm like, all my teeth have been really fucked. And I've had to deal with feeling the dentist like you know as like under 10 I definitely remember times that I would be so anxious I wouldn't tell them that they didn't give me enough of the fucking the freezing shit so I'd be like <laughs> and I would just like sit there and I remember that for like one of oh it's like one of these teeth when I had um I had this like weird brown spot on my like tooth or some shit and I definitely remember like him uh Cause I, oh, I can't remember, I can't remember, they were like doing something somewhere and I had like a little broken tooth somewhere else because I was like real small kid and then I remember like um, he put the like needle in and it like hit a nerve or something and I literally went Neh! and I was like 
yay. <laughs> like, I, I remember a lot and I just kind of like let myself just like ignore it. <laughs> and um, yeah, but I, you know, I've always had issues with my teeth and I know when my teeth are wrong and I know when they hurt and no one wants to listen to me. So I'm just like off myself. Um, <laughs> uh, you'd think that these people would get it when I was definitely the person who started clawing out my tonsils when I was like, they need to leave my throat because like, okay, apparently it's like normal to get like a calcium buildup in the holes that show up in your tonsils and then you just like, pop them out with a fucking Q-tip and I'm like, I will just start clawing at it with anything. This is when I was a hella like crazy, this is when I went in foster care because I was very bad back then and I really wanted to die because I... Yeah, and now I'm an adult, so I don't really claw at my leg. I don't really claw at my throat because my tonsils did get removed, and then I like it was really gross. I had fun peeling out the like scarred, burnt, yellowy goo because I wanted to vomit every time I looked down my throat. But I also had to look down my throat to make sure that I didn't scratch it because I'd eat a lot of hard food because they just they were like, "Oh, we're making you food. Appreciate it." And I was like, "I do. I really do." I'm glad to eat. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I was always like that though growing up. My mom just taught me to appreciate food. But it sucks after you get tonsils removed and people are just like, here, eat some fucking toast. And you're like, okay. <laughs> so good. I mean, other crunchy food too. Yeah, it's not like they're just like feeding me toast for a billion years. Um, but I have a bunch of teeth. And literally yesterday I found all the teeth. And then my mom had a bunch of other teeth that she saved and whatnot and it's kind of yeah so then you know you lose all your baby teeth and whatever <laughs> or whatever and um so I was like all excited because I've I've always loved this honestly uh I found out that the I found out rats ate a bunch of lego in the shed and now there's rainbow rat poo out there and I want to make a, a necklace of rainbow rat poo but like not in a weird way like in one of those like resin bottles so it's not disgusting and it's not gonna like murder someone with weird toxins but I thought that that'd be really funny and unique and everyone just kind of like hated on me and I was like People would buy it, and the best part is it doesn't reflect me, it reflects whoever buys it. <laughs> I just make it. That's what I wanted to do. Um, and so I also wanted to make like teeth necklaces, but probably also try and spiritually charge them so no one can use them for bad things because they are human bones, and that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> just some good fucking, some good luck teeth pendants. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that'd actually be really pure. Um, anyways, so yeah, I just have a bunch of teeth and I like, they were like in little sandwich baggies and I was like, I'm gonna, I have this like jewelry box and it's got, um, it's got fucking sections in it and it's all filled with random shit I've collected throughout the years, like knickknacks and metal and charms and like beads and fucking pieces of wire. Okay, not anything weird. Like it's a very... <laughs> It's not weird, other than the big pile of teeth in it. Actually, this one was full of sewing stuff, teeth, and a few beads, and charms, which was kind of cool, because I was trying to, like, make my own sewing kit, which I've never really had in my life, and, uh, that's sl I've never had a sewing kit properly, and I've always wanted to sew, so I'm, like, trying to build myself up from the very beginning, is what I'm going with, and, um, yeah, so I wanted to dump out these other teeth into this little square because they would all fit. And like, I was like, yeah, all the teeth will be together. And then my mom's like screaming at me and she's like, no, you can't do that. They like, just go put it all in a bag. And I'm like, why? It'll take me like 10 seconds to do this and to put the box back in the box so I can move that box because it was like, we opened the box and I was like, oh my God. And then I was like, whoa. So I was like, this is, I remember I wanted to check what was in it. And then I opened it and it was like, all the teeth. And I was like, oh my God, the other teeth. And I was like, I'll put the teeth together. And then my mom's like, no. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just putting things together. I'm just putting things together before you put it away. And she's all about like just kind of not putting things together like she's just like yeah it'll be fine just remember where things what things to connect and I'm like it's not how my life works is you just put it together especially if you just have a big bag of a few bags of teeth and then like a space that I could put the teeth you know and that was like the only time that I got to myself yesterday was sorting teeth and it made me really happy honestly um yeah it made me really happy to sort some teeth <laughs> and yeah, fucking, yeah, but other than that, yesterday I technically helped Raymond out, and I technically helped my mom out, and even though it was stuff for the household, it wasn't really anything to do with me, and I had to kind of even get everyone into it, which kind of sucked, like, I literally go to my appointment with the one chick, this person who's supposed to help me, said she would help me with a resume, and then didn't even help me with a fucking resume, and then I'm like, you know what, this day's gonna go fine, we're gonna fucking do something, so I'm like, hey, are we gonna move some stuff, hey, are we gonna move some stuff, I wasn't actually that annoying, somehow, I, somehow got us to actually put a load out, and then, 
so freaking I missed an appointment with another lady, which she was supposed to help me with a resume too, so I missed two fucking, you know, just fucking the dumb person in the beginning didn't even help when she said she would help, and then the other one was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna help, because I asked her, and like, oh, I missed both of them, and I'm just so pissed off. So I'm not getting any help, and I'm like, yay, this is not making any sense, and I'm just fucking suffocating in my own room, because I haven't taken a bloody minute to myself, like, I haven't because I just can't, because when I am in my room is I just do nothing, because I feel really feel fucking guilty for doing anything. Even doing this, I feel guilty for going on my computer, or fucking going on my phone, because I just, I wanted to shoot myself, and I just, like, I just, you know? And, yeah, so I can't really do anything to, like, clean my room, and then I'm like, my room is fine, which is not fine at all. Um, you see this? This is a fucking disaster. This is absolutely fucking gross to me, like, and I just, my brain's like, ah, but it's, like, in its place, I guess. Actually, no, it's not. I'm gonna try and deal with that. A lot of that's really gross and messy and... But, like, I have so many fucking, like, utensil-type dealios, and, you know, like, I have so many fucking... Um, I, back in the day, I actually was, like, really glad that I did this, because when I was, like, crafty, is I was always trying to, like, con trying to convince myself to be crafty, and I would never ever really make, like, useless crafts, because I was never actually allowed to really get any rid of anything unless I threw it out, which was kind of sad, because I would totally love to just, like, give stuff to the thrift store, I guess. It's, I don't know how to explain, but anyway, so... Basically, it's been very suffocating, very horrible, I can't get rid of anything, and just very, somehow, a very just suffocating atmosphere. And, um, so I've somehow become this, where I keep everything together, but I've got, like, a billion of everything, I guess. I have, like, five pairs of scissors, but they all do something different, like, the red pair is for sewing. Blue pairs, like, don't really give a shit, um, it could be used for... Okay, I know this sounds really stupid, but the black, the blue, and the purple all have different things that I would use them for. And I guess if it's, like, the red one's for, like, fabric, though, like, actually, like, sewing, and then the black one's, like, I'll use it if I have to, like, cut thread of, like, just random shit, or if I'm, like, making bracelets or something, because that's not, like, sewing, and so... It's kind of like they're in a tier. It's definitely, like, red is pristine, black is below that, and then, like, blue I'll use on, like, like, eh, I'm like, eh, I don't really care if it gets, like, too, like, maybe, like, like, wet or something, but, like, if I'm, if it's, like, the purple, the purple I'm definitely down to cut some, like, really gross gooey things, like, stickers or tape or something, because then I'm like, ah, that's so bad. I'm like, you know, the purple ones, I don't actually care about that much, but, like, I still use them as scissors, like, I'm not gonna just, like, start hacking at a wall or, like, trying to fucking carve, like, scissors, you know, I'm not dumb, but that's basically my whole life, is I have a lot of calculated things that I can't actually calculate because, I'm stuck in this room that feels very suffocating and I want to move out but I don't know how to be happy while I'm here so I'm actually dying while I'm here and that's why I want to move out and then I'm sad that if I can figure out how to be happy here I'll never move out and <laughs> I'm like freaking out because I'm like I need to get a job but I don't think I can get a job unless I'm somewhat happy and then I feel guilty for doing anything that makes me happy and I do anything at all I just feel really guilty about doing any of it and ah! and then like fucking yeah, I don't, you know, I just, I don't know how to be happy here, so I want to move, but I can't move until I'm somewhat happy enough to get a job, and then I, like, and then, like, sorting and getting rid of my shit, and it's, like, slowly progressing, it's very nice, but I just don't know how to be happy here, because I'm kind of, like, I just, I, that's the thing, is I don't really know how to let myself be happy here, because I'm, like, never happy here, other than, like, occasional moments, but I get kind of treated poorly, and no one ever really listens to me, and no one really, yeah, no one's really on my side, and I'm kind of forced to be on everyone else's side, and it's very suffocating, and it really sucks ass when you're completely alone and have no friends that you can trust anymore and you feel like you can't even be yourself anymore and you know you're never going to be seen as the thing that you want to be seen as because even your f even your quote unquote friends that you had before uh never gave a shit about you because now that you're not friends they're disrespectful as shit i'm talking about ashley who's a fucking cow <laughs> um whether that goes through or not i don't care um and, um, oh, what else? Yeah, my just shit friends treated me like shit.
And I think I'm kind of over it. You know, I've made so many blank videos that have gone nowhere that maybe I'm just fucking done repeating it over and over again. Because <laughs> I'm really... I used to not be the one to hold a grudge, but once they became so fucking shitty, I needed to hold a grudge, you know? Hello, Satan. He's trying to get my attention, and I'm being really shitty and just, like, ignoring him. But he never tries to get my attention, so it's cute when he does it. Fuck. Satan! Or maybe he's just running around being a little blip. See, the hard thing is, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Satan! Satan! <laughs> he just did this. <laughs> okay, like one day I, I'm definitely gonna do live Satan videos. Um, when I can get him, like, happy, because he's the funniest thing ever, but I'm so fucking stressed out that me and him both hate our lives. <laughs> and so watching him be happy is a very rare thing. And I don't even know if he's happy anymore, because, like, honestly, fucking Satan's weird as hell. But, like, he's mine, and, and I fucking picked him. I always pick the weird ones. <laughs>